Let's see here. It's going to be Xiao Cheng's opera singer. Uh, confine space detention with Blink. Survivor side, you're going to be able to see two tight turns here on towards the acrobat and of course the uh, d -d 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 mercenary. We will also be able to see Persica wish a puppeteer here as well, just to try counter the opera singer. This will be week three, day two, match three, game three, first half of WBG versus MRC. Okay, let's see here. It's gonna be Xiao Cheng looking for... We're gonna be looking for Barmaid first, but Barmaid first chase might be a tiny bit hard here if you don't have war. But I guess since this is factory, there's still many dash areas here to be uh, focused on as well. We are gonna be able to see Barmaid right here. Mm, no pot it down, okay. We didn't really even win the pot of mind game right there as well, but it's still fine at the end of the day. We did also see that uh, the opera decided to bring no survivors first hit there, will register as well. And that's gonna be Barmaid immediate Dublin drink. You're gonna be able to see Mercenary here as well with the pallet support, but even with so much Pallet supports in your mind. That's gonna be brilliant. Pallet stun here on towards the Merc, allowing Barmaid here to fully heal up meanwhile rotating straight towards Shock. We don't have Blink here just yet, but with a Windows speed boost away, it seems like it will be more than enough for us to get our second Dove Link here immediately from Barmaid. Didn't win the mind game, but that's gonna be me to drop down. And seems like we wouldn't go straight towards the triple pallets here instead, transitioning towards the next closest area, but it doesn't seem like here for um, it doesn't seem like for Opera, it would be a bit of an issue. Now then, there is Blink ready, so we have to be very careful of the Blink. Uh, with Dash in mind, that's going to be a pallet breakdown. Okay, Survivor's trying to body block here for as much as we can, but with the Blink here, it might be a tiny bit too hard against the against the Opera. We're trying to play it around here a little bit, walk around towards the other side. We're going to be able to Blink open, but it seems like we hit the Mercenary here instead. Mercenary utilizing the body just to stop the Opera from Blinking there. If Opera stepped just a little bit closer towards the Mercenary, you definitely would have been able to hit over the Merc and get the Barmaid down, but Barmaid being able to fully heal here once again. Now the only now the only issue is lies with yes we finish off two cypher machines but barmaid still hasn't gotten that first hit just yet that's gonna be hard the normal hit there on towards barmaid and from the barmaid's point of view all you need to do is to rotate towards the next nearest pallet slash window in which this case scenario another beautiful pallet stun there done by Xiao Cheng we did see him uh, let out quite a bit of a sigh but since this is Huang we're talking about uh man is still just a little bit scary eh uh with all things into consideration still trying to run away from our opera we're gonna be able to get the shadow dance over but it seems like we won't be able to get a hit right there that's a very beautiful oh, okay oh, okay oh, okay double size set but it seems like you're not gonna win against opera here especially with the fast attack recovery thankfully opera being able to get a little bit of more of a breeding room juan on 165 heart rate heart uh, bpm and with that much with that much it really is just Insane, especially with uh, I guess it really it really did come in pretty close, especially with the fact that he managed to dodge two normal hits there and then get the all bolt over. But Sally Opera is just a tiny bit too fast. With the mercenary here as well, mercenary just seems to provide as much aid as possible to allow Barmy to rotate away. Barmy still doesn't have window speed boost here just yet, so we didn't get the body block there, but we 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 couldn't get this one. Okay, we couldn't get this one, sadly. Now then Barmy's still trying to rotate away. It's a double down situation here on towards the survivor side, but it can still be a tie game. The good news is that it can still be a tie game. Meanwhile, Acrobat having Fireball right after Rescue could potentially allow Barmaid here to rebound Kite for a bit of time. But since Blink is going to be ready in the next 38 seconds, if we don't start the last Cypher Machine sooner or later, you're not going to be able to see that for an endgame. It's going to be walk. Oh, we're going to be walking here for Acrobat. Acrobat will be found immediately as well. That's going to be the Fireball immediately utilized. We are going to be able to dodge the Fireball there, surprisingly, and that's going to be normal hit force rescue. 45% last Cypher Machine. You're trying to have someone to body block for you, but even with so much things in mind, we did manage to cancel the dash, but it seems like we won't be able. Oh, we did manage to get the vault over on time. Xiao Chen just wasn't close enough for that one. Okay, mud ball applied, three survivors body blocking, Acrobat going down here immediately, and it seems like Acrobat wanted to retreat from this area simply because of the fact that ah we missed that once again. We do have we have Shadow Dance, okay, Shadow Dance over, but we didn't reset the cooldown for uh Shadow Leap. This time though, we didn't we didn't get a hit on towards anyone. No, we got a hit on towards Merc. 
Uh, but if this is the case, you can't blink out anymore. Mercenary body block, body block, beautiful body block for mercenary. 75% sight machine decoding progress right now. And Barmaid trying to run towards where Persica is right now. Ugh, the puppeteer doing a lot of work right now. Three cipher machine decoded and still having the need to come in towards rescue. We most likely will be able to see a formal animation right here, but we can find Barmaid immediately here, so we definitely would be able to see at least, and I repeat, at least. At least a tie game, but right now we pop open the cipher machine. Then that simply just means that Mercy can go rescue the Acrobat. Ah, uh, should we have chaired Acrobat instead? I wonder. No, should we have chaired Mercy alongside with Acrobat? I wonder before coming out. Be a little bit hard to do, but we can definitely open here immediately. The blink coming out initially as well, but sadly we just don't have dashes just yet. And with so much in mind, Barmay rushing straight towards the next triple padded area. This great transition here on mine. We aren't vaulting over, but we are going to go down here. And with the exit gate being opened by the puppeteer right now, 50% exit gate decoding speed. And even with Opera here, by the time you do manage to it'll be around a 90% decoding progress on towards exit gate. Let's congratulate the three man escape here for WBG survivors moving straight on towards second half. It seems like Alex is going to go for Anne here once again with Trunkard Detention alongside with Warp since this is a relatively small map. You're going to be able to see the Explorer here alongside with uh, Coordinator, Acrobat and of course the Mercenary. Double tie turner here from the Survivor side of course double window speed boost. It's going to be the final match of Week 3 Day 2 Match 3 Game 3 second half of WBG versus MRC. Okay then, so Alex is going to be looking for Nanako. Uh... Nanako here might be a bit hard to go after, especially with the fact that you don't have excitement. But I guess with Warp, you should be able to catch up relatively fast here as well. With the Explorer looking for pages, Alex is trying to base the red light. And be able to get the cat out right here. And it's more or less just playing Ring Around the Rosie here against the coordinator. But it seems like the gun is able to cancel the cat, thankfully. And we're going to be able to rotate straight towards the pallet area as well. Now then, it seems like Alex actually decided not to bring fast pallet breaking, nor did he actually decide to bring, um, bring what again? Bring, 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 bring rage, just to counter the gun a little bit. But it seems like right now you're going to be able to catch up immediately anyways, and just to get a normal hit on towards Cordy. So with the survivors here, you're going to be able to see around three type of machines at 50%, especially with Explorer here as well, who already got a page. But it's Seems like we're not going to go off after Explorer here anymore as Cordy would be the next best option. That's going to be the media jump here, catching up towards Cordy and that's going to be Cordy going down. Meanwhile, Mercenary Cypher Machine will be locked here forever unless Explorer is the one that comes in to finish decoding that Cypher Machine. Then we are going to be able to see Basement right here, but with the Basement here, if you want to guarantee the tie, it's going to be very hard for you to be able to do so. Double down situation is going to be very, very, very common, especially with the fact that you want Cordy to be able to rebound kite for a little bit more. And of course, with the Explorer here as well, having 100% page. By technicality, two and a half side from machine decoding progress done here from the survivors. I've been able to see where Merc is as well as a brilliant thing. But um gonna be bringing the cat back here as well. So with the cat coming back. Can we jump towards Merc right now? We, we need to jump towards Merc right now and force Merc to get the cat, but it seems like in right now we just want Merc to walk in towards Basement instead and wanting to get that double down situation in which you'll slow down the progress by quite a lot from the survivor's point of view. That's going to be a no, well, not a no damage rescue, but no attack recovery hit rescue. And it seems like we're going to be able to get another next cat towards Merc. Sadly, it just didn't bit on towards him though, but we're going to be able to get the max presence there, thankfully. So... With so and so on mind, with so and so on mind right now, Xiaodi is looking for a page nearby and deciding not to actually go after the explorer though. Uh, that's pretty interesting to see. I would have hit Explorer there so, so Explorer can't do anything else anymore or he just doesn't want to waste time. And, uh, I guess Alex is just hyper focused on the tie. Really, really hyper focused on the tie because that's all what he needs right now to win against um, to win against MRC. Especially with the fact that MRC hasn't lost a single game here yet. If this is the case, it'll be brilliant. If this is the case, it'll honestly be brilliant. We're going to be able to see... Gonna be able to see Explorer wanting to come in right now. That's gonna be Cat being brought back here initially as well. We didn't get hit on towards Explorer there. It's a little bit unfortunate, but that's gonna be a second hit there registered. 78%, um, we're gonna be able to pop open a Cypher, all right. But even with a Cypher pop open here, as long as Alex manages to land this cash 
and then and then get war pouch even wish elbow pads here on coordinator's hands it doesn't really matter we're going to be able to see the elbow pad coming up but that's jump number one are we going to be able to see jump number two does it seem like it'll be possible to do so anymore so we're going to be able to lock uh cordy's item first acrobat one to come into body block but it seems like right now we're going to be able to get that side step hit hold up okay ggs okay yeah that should hit that should hit that should hit that really should hit and with a beautiful sidestep hitch, it seems like it should at least be a guaranteed tie with Mercenary 1 elbow pad remaining and of course Explorer with Wanted Order. Explorer 25% decoding progress on towards the page right there. We could definitely burst. We could burst. Yeah, we could just burst right here and aim for Explorer. Aye, we didn't hit Explorer. Ay 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 ay! We're still looking for looking for explorer right now. Realize that explorer has tie turner. It's either explorer. It's either the pop up in the cipher here immediately. Uh, realize that explorer doesn't have borrow time or he does have borrow time. And now we're gonna be able to explode the cats. We we got it. We popped. Um, whose idea was that, guys? Whose idea was that the pop-up from the cypher machine with the basement being nearby as well? Alex is going to be able to guarantee the tie for disciple and right here. That's all what he needed. Last game, his survivors got four man eliminated. But if he ties this one, it's two wins to MRC. And the peepers drop down. The peepers drop down shows it all. The peepers drop down honestly shows it all. But it seems like right now the survivors, are they going to come in? They do want to come in, but it's really hard, especially with peepers as well. And it seems like right now we're just going to be aiming for the tie. Okay, let's congratulate WBG on winning against MRC.